Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of the Porsche Cup car here on the Sonoma circuit. Uh, it's week nine for you guys this week. Uh, my name is Matt Emery with Veloce Vex. You're watching Coach Dave Academy. Um, so let's firstly get into the hot lap. Okay, guys, so let's get into the hot lap guide then for the Sonoma circuit. Um, obviously, a lap for qualifying starts really at the last corner. Um, you've got quite a big um, hairpin to contend with. So just make sure you get a good exit out of there, um, especially starting your qualifying laps. Um, obviously, in the race as well, it always helps. Um, so across the start-finish line, um, and your, your turn one really starts from back here, your, your proper braking zone. Um, you don't want to take too much... Um, you want, you want to go quite wide for this this little kink in the straight here. You don't want to hug that wall too much. You just want to make sure you open up the braking zone for turn two and three. Um, so notice I'm completely in the middle of the track, all the way over to the right-hand side, and I start braking um, just before the pit exit cones. Um, just coming onto the brakes now. Just gently, you notice I'm only on about 5 or 10%, just absolutely trail braking through here. Still holding the brake on. Um, also, as you're going uphill, you don't have to brake as much. Obviously, the um, gravity does does its job for you, uh, or does your job for you. Um, now, you also notice I'm diving it straight into the apex as well. Um, and as you find, as you come over the crest, um, the cargo is quite light. Um, so it's better to put less rotation into the car um, and sort of go straight to the apex. As you see, I've driven it round the curb rather than open up the corner and going for the exit. Um, I played it through for you once more, so just starting to break here, only about 10-15%. Still breaking, and then obviously now increasing the pressure once we're getting towards the apex. And then short shifting as well, you'll notice I'm up to third gear now. Um, just to make sure we get that better traction. Uh, run it quite wide on exit. And then pull it back across to the right hand side for the next corner. Um, now this is the fixed race set, so this isn't the open setup, which will be slightly quicker. Um, obviously as it always is. Um, also not qualifying as well. Um, so just something to bear in mind. This lap time, I believe, was a 1 minute 12.2. Um, so that's the reference lap time for you guys. Um, you then head back down the hill and then up again. Um, obviously sticking it to the right-hand side as much as you can. Onto the brakes just as you go over the crest here. Just hugging this inside curb. Not getting on it too much as it does unsettle the car. You see, get a little hop on there. And then just touching as much of this curb as we can. Um, without hopping over the gravel because it does unsettle the car and also it's all about the exit here um, so back on the brake and then on the throttle as early as you can you notice the car gets really light here um, and as I come over the crest again just being really careful you see my throttle trace there um, just being really careful on the throttle just making sure the rears don't spin up too much um, obviously in the race really got to look after your tyres especially in the traction zones here um, really easy as well uh, let me just show you what it looks like from the cockpit camera um, really easy to uh, just completely lose your bearings because I mean you come here, you're turning in, you can't see anything. Um, so just bearing in mind you're going to need a bit of practice for this circuit. Um, just try and learn your reference points, where all the curbs are um, and things like that. Uh, we then plunge back down the hill to the next braking zone. Um, now you're going to want to brake just in line in the middle of the 
these cones here on the right hand side. Um, so if you want a reference, that's probably the best one that can find you. Um, just again, not too much um, pressure on the brakes, just as you will lock up as you are going downhill now. Um, I also found you don't want to touch this curve too much as it would just send you it would send you very wide and also unsettle the car quite heavily. Uh, so you notice I'm just clipping it slightly, um, using all of the exit curb as well. Try not to get stuck on this exit curb, just try and go over it. You don't get an off track for being out here. Um, as long as you're back within um, the track or basically don't hit the wall basically because um, it sticks out quite a lot and you notice I got very close to it there. Um, but if you can, you know, if you can afford to be out there, and as long as you get it back in in time, um, then it's worth a couple of attempts. So um, always push those corners as hard as you can. Um, next break is on again, um, quite a tricky one. It's actually very easy to lock up here. Um, so just be careful you're not breaking too late. You notice I'm breaking quite early again. Um, and again, if you need a reference, you're looking at these sort of cones here on the right hand side, um, just before this wall ends as well. Just get onto the brake. It's only about 60%. Um, and you really want to get it into the apex here and then try and get on the power as early as you can. Um, now you can see I actually had a bit of understeer at this corner, going a bit wider than I would have liked. Would have preferred to be a bit straighter here to line up this next corner. Um, but even so, I'm still back on the power as early as I can. Hop over the curb initially and then pull it across these um, tricky little chicanes. Just making sure you're clipping the curbs, opening up the track as much as you can. And then into these next, uh, this next tricky uh, sort of medium speed chicanes that finish the lap off. Um, just making sure you're clipping the curb as much as you can. It also helps with rotation as, as well. Just don't go over the top of them. Uh, make sure you're not hit, hitting the gravel either. Um, so just going on as on them as much as you can. Uh, back on the brakes initially. Notice I dabbed on the brakes for a second. You can see on my brake trace. Uh, same with this one actually. Notice I'm on the brakes initially. Just getting that initial rotation. Dab a brake again and then on full throttle as early as you can. Uh, now in the car, again, it's very blind. It's a, a lot more elevation in the car. Um, so again, at this point, you've lost all your reference points. So it's just going to be about learning where the track is without actually seeing it. But then you, you pull over the hill, you see the curb, see where the uh, the track is. Um, you then full throttle completely around this last section as you head towards the next right-hander. Now, obviously, you want to open up this corner as much as you can, so just make sure you're using all of this rumble strip on the left-hand side. And then, again, just holding the brakes. You see I'm using about 50%. And then back on the front as early as you can. Obviously, just be careful. Um, all of this gravel stuff around the whole track is, is an off-track just waiting to happen, so just be careful you're not getting on it too much. Um, but, yeah, braking again, about 50% over the curb, and then on the throttle as early as you can. And you then come into the final corner of the lap, which is the hairpin. Um, and you notice I'm hitting the cones out of the way. Um, that's not an issue. So you can use that. You won't get any sort of contact or off track or anything for that. Uh, just opens up the corner slightly more as well. Um, again, just be careful you're not breaking too hard for this corner. Um, I found a few times in practice, um, if you broke too hard, you just overheat your front tyres and you just, the car just would not turn and you'd lose a, you know half a second or so. Um, so just be careful and wary of that. But yeah, breaking into this corner, just nicely trail braking. You notice I come slowly off the brake, still on it slightly at the apex, and then short shift again, straight into second gear and on the throttle as early as you can. Uh, just make sure you don't spin up the rear tyres. Uh, but yeah, that is a lap of the Sonoma circuit. So that was the hot lap guide then for week nine of the Sonoma circuit in the Porsche Cup car. I um, hope that was useful for you guys. Obviously, make sure you head over to coachdaveacademy.com for the latest data packs um, and setups. Obviously, check out the Discord down below as well. Um, any questions you've got, just let us know in there. Uh, but I've been Matt Emery with Veloce Vex, and I will see you next week for week 10. So take care, guys.